Thank you, Your Excellency. Susan Tehrani from WEON. Uh, are you concerned about the plight of the Palestinian people right now inside Palestine to an extent where the Arab world would perhaps unite and take some of these Palestinians as, as refugees? There's been some sort of criticism that perhaps the weight hasn't been lifted by the Arab world. Thank you. The weight uh, has to be lifted, but it is not to be lifted by the Arab world. It is to be lifted by removing that weight. And that is very easy, by stopping the killing, by stopping the blockade, by allowing enough humanitarian aid to go in uh, to support the Palestinians. The Palestinians do not want to leave their land. And we are not going to encourage them or force them to leave their land, and we are not going to work with anyone who has that agenda. The Palestinians have a right to their land, and they have a, a right to live in safety and security and dignity on their land. And that is what we will push for, and that is what, what we will work towards. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I have a question for uh, Mr. Fidan, uh, if that's possible. Um, according to numbers announced also by the UN, uh, there's a huge destruction and catastrophic loss of life in uh, northern Gaza. And while, meanwhile, the civilian uh, population is increasing each day on the, on the uh, south of the Strip with forced relocation. And along with the humanitarian crisis, a possible continuation of Israeli strikes is going to lead to more loss of life. So I'd like to know how urgent do you think uh, it is for the international community to unite in a common response? And what can you do, uh, what can this committee do uh, to enforce that response? Thank you so much, sir. Well, thank you very much. I mean, this is a, a very important question. As uh, it was described uh, by my uh, brother, uh, we are, as a group, is working very hard to make sure that the international community lives up to its responsibilities, both legal and moral. I think this is very important because in the absence of uh, moral compass, uh, we will lose our way as humanity. So therefore, as international community, we need to do our best to address this issue at every level, at humanitarian level, at political level, and uh, we need immediate ceasefire, we need Im immediate humanitarian assistance. At the same time, we need to start immediately to address the root cause of the problem, which is two-state solution. Thank you very much.